My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. What I have here is the best-selling sleeping pad on Amazon at the time of filming. This is the number one bestseller. And my question is, why? What makes this so good? In this episode, we will take a look at the product and we will see if we could come up with an answer to that question. Before we get into this video, everyone, make sure to hit the thumbs up because it does help the channel. It's a great way to support the channel. I purchased this product with my own money so I can give you all the facts with no BS. So with that being said, let the review begin. To start off here, let's take a look at the box. The name of the company is Sleep In Go, but personally, I like Sleeping O better. Super comfortable, two inches of thickness. Lightweight, not even a pound. Heavy duty, it will never leak. Camping, backpacking, hiking, lifetime warranty. On the inside of the box, it says, thank you for buying this sleeping pad, please read. If you have any questions, issues, here's my personal email. The owner's name is Koi West. Now everyone, let's focus on the sleeping pad itself. In the hand, this is a lightweight sleeping pad. There's no doubt about it. The form factor is very good. This is roughly the same size as a water bottle. You have a draw pull at the top. It opens up nice and easy. You have a small repair kit on the inside. It looks like you have some sealant and two squares of fabric. Now it's time to inflate this pad. This is a two-way valve and it has a stopper on the inside, which means that you can easily inflate this. As you push air into the pad, the stopper will prevent air from escaping. We're nine breaths in, and as you can see, the air is not escaping. So right at 11 breaths to fill this up. Once the pad's inflated, flip it over, and it's ready to go. Now everyone, let's go over some stats concerning this pad. First off, price. The price of this pad is $40. The weight of this pad is 14.2 ounces, and that includes the storage bag. The material for this pad is a 20 denier nylon, and the dimensions, when it's fully stored, are 11 inches by 3.5. The company claims this pad is 75 inches long and 23 inches wide, and that is a little bit generous. When it's fully set up, it is 74 inches long, 22 inches wide, and it tapers down towards the foot, where it goes down to roughly 12 inches. The company also claims that the pad gives you two inches of cushion. That is also generous. It really depends on what you're looking at, at what point you're talking about. Because of the way the pad was designed, it's not two inches all the way across the pad. There's certain spots. You have certain pockets that are actually over two inches, and you have small little gaps in between those pockets. For an example, take a look at this air chamber right here compared to this one. That's over two inches. This one's less than two inches less, more, a whole lot less, and so on. Now that we've gone over the stats of this pad, let's talk about my experiences with it because I do have quite a bit of experience with a sleepy pad just like this. This is a relabel. What do I mean by that? Take a look at this. You see the logo here? That is the only thing that is different when talking about this sleeping pad when compared to many others. There are many companies out there who have the exact same sleeping pad. For an example, the Outdoor, what's it called? The Outdoorsman Lab? <laughs> Hold on. What's the name of that company? Let me check on my notes here. It's the Outdoorsman Lab sleeping pad. I've reviewed this in the past, it's not a bad pad. It's exactly the same as this one. There's no difference. The only difference is that logo right there and also the claims made by the companies. Every company has a different spin and Sleep and Go has a different spin as well. Sleeping O. <laughs> That's what I want to call it. Anyways, let's go over what the company states as far as features go, selling points go, and I will tell you if they are realistic or not. So let's go ahead and begin. So they say two inch thick sleep support. You will love this sleeping pad. Two inches, okay. First off, two inches is not enough to really get you off of the ground. If you are laying on top of this completely flat, you will be off of the ground. Stomach, back, 
fine. If you turn onto your side, you will be super uncomfortable with this pad. This pad simply does not offer enough cushion to get you off of the ground when you're sleeping on your side. So if you're a side sleeper, forget about it. It's simply not going to work. I should mention this everyone, I weigh 160 pounds and this pad barely gets me off of the ground when I'm laying 100% flat. If you weigh more than me, there is a chance that this pad will simply not get your body off of the ground. I mean, it's going to vary for everyone, so keep that in mind. Super thick, this pad is not. Is it so thick, so comfortable that you're going to love it? Unfortunately, no, that's not the case. They go on to say, want to be comfortable anywhere? No need to suffer from a cheap, flimsy, short outdoor sleeping pad. This quality portable camping mat is perfect. Super sturdy and extremely comfortable. Great for any sleeping position. No, <laughs> that's not true at all. Moving on. Weighs only 14.5 ounces. On my scale, it was less than that, 14.2. And packs down to the size of a thin water bottle. I would say just a regular water bottle. I don't know what they mean by thin water bottle, but okay. Perfect for a backpacking sleeping pad. No worrying about room in your backpack. Yeah, okay, that's true. This does not take up much space inside of your backpack. No back aches due to heavy weight, very convenient to carry. Eh, that's all rubbish there. You will wish that you found this years ago. Mm, nonsense. Comes with a sleek storage pouch. Sleek? What are you talking about? I mean, it comes with a storage bag, but there's nothing sleek about this. They didn't reinvent the wheel here. This tough, durable, large, comfy sleeping pad features a lifetime warranty. Economically and practically efficient with an impressive size blown up of 75 by 23 inches. This camping mattress pad will give you the comfort you need. We've already spoken about the dimensions. They are generous. It's roughly one inch shorter in every way than the company states. Tear resistant, heavy duty ripstop nylon fabric, lightweight sleeping pad. It's super strong, waterproof, camping grade ripstop nylon fabric. Interesting. I've never heard anybody use that term before, camping grade. What does that mean? I honestly have no idea. Just about any company can say that about any sort of material. And how would you argue that? Some of this is really poorly written. With a impressive 20 denier thickness used only for the strongest camping equipment designed to last a lifetime in the most severe of conditions. Hassle-free lifetime replacement, no need to return. They take pride in their customer service and we promise to treat you like family. In addition to the lifetime warranty, if you're not happy with your purchase, we will simply offer you a refund, no questions asked. Just let the reviews speak for themselves. Now, of course, I can't comment on their lifetime warranty. Maybe it's good, maybe it's not, I don't know. Now, folks, let's talk about my impressions of this pad so far. As far as quality goes, it's not bad at all. I see no issues here when it comes to the materials, no issues with the cuts, the seams. Everything looks good. There's no issues with the valve. You don't see any glue coming out from around it. Overall, the quality looks good. The materials look good. The construction looks good. Talking about the valve for a second, it's easy to use. You can easily inflate this and also release the air. As I mentioned before, the stowed form factor is good. It doesn't take up much space inside of your backpack. Also, this pad is very lightweight. And I have to say, folks, I do like the green color of this pad. Size-wise, this pad isn't bad. It's good for individuals up to six foot. Above that, you will need to go with something else. Now, everyone, let's move to the cons. First off, at 22 inches wide, this is not a wide sleeping pad. I'm not a big guy by any means, but I do have broad shoulders, and I'm basically right at the max for this pad. So if you're a larger individual, you may have issues when it comes to being comfortable on this. I mean, 22 inches wide, it's not that wide, really. The next con that I have for this pad is thickness. It's inconsistent. It doesn't offer a ton of cushion. It offers, in my opinion, just enough. That's a great way to put it. This pad offers just enough in terms of comfort. It really depends on what you want. Are you looking to go ultra light? Okay, interesting option. If you're going for like ultra comfortable, Forget this, go with something else. If you're a side sleeper and you're looking for a sleeping pad, find something that has at least three inches of cushion. That's the bare minimum for a side sleeper. In the end, everyone, this is not the most uncomfortable sleeping pad ever made, but you certainly cannot believe everything the company states. I mean, the company makes it sound like you are going to get the best night's sleep in the entire world on this pad. It's so comfortable, it will blow your mind. That's simply not true. The warranty is excellent if true. The price is not bad for this pad, but you certainly can find the exact same pad out there for less. I wanna say that the Outdoorsman Lab pad is like $32, $33. So if you wanna save $8, $7, whatever it is, go with the other pad because they're exactly the same product. 
those are my impressions of this pad so far. I will be testing this out for numerous months. And if anything comes up, if anything changes, I will do a supplemental video. But as is, everything that I stated in the Outdoorsman Lab review should stand true with this pad. This is a relabel. Just like that other pad is a relabel. There's other companies out there who make the exact same product. I shouldn't say that. They don't make it. They sell it. There's one manufacturer out there and they just simply slap different names on the product. The question is, why is this the number one best-selling product on Amazon? Does it have anything to do with the amount of reviews of this product? I would say yes. This product at the time of filming has roughly 27,000 reviews. How about that? 27,000. It really does sound like the best sleeping pad ever made. The thing is, everyone, those reviews are complete horseshit. <laughs> They're complete horseshit. This is one of the biggest problems on Amazon. The reviews are fake for a lot of these companies. You can go out there, you can hire firms to leave hundreds, thousands, even tens of thousands of positive reviews on products. There are websites out there that analyze Amazon reviews to see if they're legit or not. So I went over to fakespot.com, I put in the URL. This is what it says. This product here receives a D rating. It shows you common terms that are used in the reviews, such as, it's the perfect shape, my sleep quality is always great, quality, innovative, five stars. So according to this site, there is a high level of deception with the reviews. And they figure that roughly 50% of the reviews on there are complete garbage. I would suspect that it's even more so. That right there is the reason why this is the best selling sleeping pad on Amazon. It's because of those fake reviews. People go on there, they see all of these reviews, and they don't realize that 99% of them are garbage. They're bought and paid for reviews. This sleeping pad, in all honesty, isn't that bad, but it's not the glowing product that many people think they're buying. With this sleeping pad from the company Sleeping Go, I have a very hard time recommending it because of the fake reviews, because of the nonsense. In the end, it's just flat out deception. I don't like it. I would not recommend buying this for that simple fact. And folks, I will stop there. Now, everyone, I wanna hear from you. Comment down below, share your thoughts about this pad. Is it worth 40 bucks? Is this something that you would personally purchase? What do you all think about Amazon reviews? Are they legit or are they complete crap? Again, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. Support on Patreon here on YouTube. Everyone, take care, strength and honor. Bye for now. <laughs>